is what it's all about. Hey guys, and welcome to Pinnacle Moto Channel. My name is Pinnacle. Well, it's not really Pinnacle. Um, Pinnacle is a tag or a handle that I've been using for about 20, 25 years actually. It all generated from when I was uh, into gaming quite a lot when I was younger. Still am a little bit now. Um, and I was wondering what my username could be and you know, what can I use, what can I type in? And I was looking around the room and I saw a set of golf balls and they were made by Pinnacle. And I thought, okay, well, Pinnacle, I'll go for Pinnacle. And it's kind of stuck ever since on forums and you know uh, email addresses and all sorts of stuff like that. So uh, I'm known as Pinnacle and uh, quite a few of my friends know me as Pinnacle. Uh, when I'm online, they refer to me as Pinnacle rather than my real name, uh, which is kind of got used to it now, but, uh, but that's where Pinnacle comes from anyway. So a little bit about me. Um, I passed my full bike, I got my full license in 1996. Uh, I was what are I 22, 23 at the time, yeah. um, and I was quite interested in the bike, and always had been from a child, you know. Uh, but I didn't go crazy. I, I went for an ER5, a Kawasaki ER5, um, and that was kind of the naked version with the single round headlight. Uh, I kind of um, used, you got used to it on that, you know. Got used to riding, started uh, you know practicing, doing wheelies and stuff like that, you know. Uh, when you're young you do all this crazy stuff and uh, that's kind of what I was doing in my year five. Uh, I also was commuting into the city of London because I, I live on kind of the border of London and Essex. So I was commuting into London on this ER5. Um, I think in a period of three years I only actually had three accidents, actually four accidents. I say four because one of them I put my side stand down uh, while parked outside of the bank. And um, I put it down on a drain, and uh, as I walked away from the bike, the bike decided to just slip a little bit as wind gushed past from passing cars, and it just toppled onto the floor. So I consider that one of my uh, one of my accidents, or one of my drops. Uh, a couple of other minor ones: people in traffic while I was filtering, they decided they want to sit in traffic and they uh, go down the side road. Nothing major there, but I mean the last accident I had, which kind of destroyed the ER5. Um, was on a, a dual carriageway uh, with a central reservation which was at chevrons rather than kind of hand like a barrier and uh, uh, a middle-aged lady decided that she'd like to park outside the bank on the other side of the road uh, she just happened to be in the slow lane at the time or the left-hand lane we call it um, so she went across all four lanes of traffic uh, hit the back of my bike uh, I was probably doing about 20, 25 mile an hour. Um, but the back went away from me, the front kind of kinked up and jackknifed all, almost. Uh, and I just got flipped over the handlebars. And I just remember seeing the floor, then the ceiling, then the floor. And then I woke up um, and I was looking at the uh, ceiling in uh, Whitechapel Hospital and it was the recovery room. And in the recovery room, there was like, uh, I don't know if you remember, Big Ears and Noddy. Some, some people might be old enough to remember that. And they had their own little uh, racetrack on the uh, on the ceiling. So uh, I was looking at that. Um, not much because I, I, I could do because I, I was actually paralysed from the neck down at the time. Um, lucky enough, temporary paralysis. Uh, but I did at the time promise my mother, <laughs> who I didn't live with at the time, but they were they drove all the way down from uh, the kind of east of Chelmsford, east uh, Essex, all the way down to Whitechapel Hospital, and. Uh, I did promise her that I wouldn't buy another motorbike. That didn't, however, stop me from renting motorbikes and also uh, attending races at uh, Mallory Park, where we had the old uh, GSX 750s with no electrics or anything like that. Um, so yeah, so I kind of still rode for a while, even though the ER5 was my last bike at the time. I did rent a Yamaha Phaser for a while. Um, but then I kind of had a break for about 15, 20 years of, uh, of biking. And my wife, who I've been married to, I had the pleasure of being married to for 15 years now, um, she wanted to start riding bikes when she was 30, but she's a bit crazy. So, <laughs> so I decided to try and put that off as long as possible. And then it's her 41st birthday. 
that I, uh, I finally caved in and got her a CBT course uh, for her birthday. Um, that was just an excuse as well, I think, in, in kind of in the back of my mind to, uh, to get back into biking myself. So initially we bought a uh, Ninja 650 um, because after a lot of research, people were uh, 125s or 250s weren't the bikes to get on anymore after you've passed your full license. Um, so we decided we go straight for the full license from uh, from nothing, full license, and get straight on a 650. Um, the 650 has been kind of on the driveway now for mm, four months, I think. She's passed her CBT, she's passed her theory, uh, she has passed her mod one, and she has her mod two tomorrow. So uh, wish her luck for me, and hopefully uh, she'll be on that bike soon. So I rode that bike for a bit, um, but then I was on the lookout for my, my bike. And what I really wanted, I didn't want to get into like the, the 636s as a ZX6R or you know, uh, CBR600 or you know, GXS6. I, I wanted something a bit bigger, uh, a bit more suitable for what I'm probably going to be doing, which is kind of drive riding around and now and again go into the shops and bits and pieces like that. I'm not just going to take it out and you know, be hunched over and be at this all right you know, after an hour. So I, I decided to go for a 1000cc uh, Tora and I, I went for the Z1000SX Kawasaki. Uh, I think in America they're called the Kawasaki or the Ninja 1000. Uh, but I went for that bike and um, I'm loving it, absolutely loving it. Um, I, I've only just turned the um, traction control down to level two um, because I, I, you know, getting used to it now. And I, but I've always had the power for it. But I've, I've not. I mean, I've been riding that bike now for one and a half, two months, and I've not really opened it up yet. I've, I've, I've got my sensible head on now. You know, I'm 48 years old. I've got my sensible head on. I know the power's there. Um, but I'm just changing gear around about six and a half thousand, seven thousand RPM. Um, I, I, I mean, I'm not one. I'm not a squid. I'm not going to be going round, be, be round the corner, be down round the corner, elbow touching the floor. You know? It's it's not the sort of thing I'm interested in. So, anyway, that's a little bit about me. Um, if you're interested, this is my channel. I will be making videos. Uh, my wife is asking me for a GoPro already, so uh, she'll be probably getting one on her bike as well. Um, and when she does, if she does get a um, YouTube channel as well, I'll give her a shout out here. Uh, otherwise, well, you can find me on Instagram as well, under Pinnacle Moto. Um, and I think she's under underscore Anna underscore Moto, uh, just in case you want to follow either of us on Instagram. Thanks very much, guys, and I look forward to speaking to you again soon.